Friends, will January have in store for us? The NFL playoffs are officially underway. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. steady game. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Looking to throw, Prescott. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. We said it before the game, and I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Now Prescott. And he fires one that's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. Nobody ever wants the interception on the opening drive to happen, but when it happens in the playoffs, it feels like it's a bigger deal. What a rough start. And how about these visitors? The defense just went right on the field and seized momentum, you know, almost like they're saying, okay, no one expects us to win this one. Let's go ahead and give them a shock early. Took the ball from the home team and put them in the hole. Because this crowd, one of the best in the league, and especially this time here, it's going to be tough to take them out of it, but that's a heck of a start. Now Jones. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising. They wanted people to get into the ball as fast as possible. The lighter shift your defensive backs allow you that opportunity. Second down and goal. Rodgers to the goal line, but it's incomplete. They well, certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now Rodgers. And he's going to go down. Sacked back in the 13-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And his kick is indeed good. And the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a 
second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 18 more yards there and another first down. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is? It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play is working very well for them right now. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Prescott on play action. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. And again, it's Prescott. This one incomplete. Almost picked up by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. And his kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially... An extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? Different feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me. Neville Gallagher on the stop. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. Throwing now is Rodgers. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. A great pick. Nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero, but we did. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Or whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because, look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, he's going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal and you throw the pick, not good at all. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Rodgers with Jones, hit in the ball's out. These two teams all tied after one. Yeah. 
The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Rodgers now to throw. This one swung out here to Jones. So the completion good for just three. And it brings up third and five now. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He finds Watson complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. 27 yards there on a very nice third-down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They go back to the ground with Jones. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So we race the flag. They decline it. And did they use the big eraser, or was that the one at the end of the number two pencil? Well, I was thinking the like the two by two inch ones that you can buy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In this addition is, to the pencil. And those last for a long time. No doubt. Rogers now on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front the front up in the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Kevin Joseph. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And he's going to be brought down. Back in his own six-yard line. Kenny Clark. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. On 
Second down, Elliott. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Tried to get the edge there. The defense just too quick to the ball. That's what we call total team defense there. Can't get to the edge. No place to move it inside. And then allows everyone else to run to the ball and create a big time tackle for no gain for the offense. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And that one results in 35 yards. Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin the road to the upcoming Super Bowl. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. That's caught again by Schultz. Touchdown! Dalton Schultz, 33 yards. And the Cowboys have moved out in front. Extra point splits the points. And the lead is now 10 to 3. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the play did on the last one. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now it's Rodgers. A check down here to Jones. And down he'll go at the 25. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Vedvik now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. Touchdown, Packers. Christian Watson, 75 yards. And the Packers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The point after is good. And that slices the lead down to 17-10. After the touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And Prescott, his third interception. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. So the first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's second and 10. stopped at the 28 on a play that started at the 14 they pick up 14 and with just four seconds left in this first half a timeout call so with four seconds to go in the half here's the field goal unit onto the field he made his first attempt, this from 45. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will do it for this first half. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wildcard bout. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Kelvin Joseph. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. Second and 10 now from the 27. Prescott. Dancing to it. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Preston Smith from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And this one is right down Broadway. And that'll make this a seven-point game. But whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin the second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Give you something to build on for your next possession. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception of the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed, so they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays, make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start that. And now here's another interception. 
And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On play action, Prescott. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the doctor. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and getting themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Well, they come through with three after forcing the turnover. I mean, but CD, second half, you're starting inside the red zone. Obviously, they would have liked six out of that. Absolutely, because that's all you're thinking is, how do you get it into the end zone? You want the field goal to be the last resort? In this case, they gave it a great try, but did have to settle for three. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Here's Rodgers to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. On play action, Rodgers. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. But to be frank, CD, this is getting tough to watch. I mean, you feel for him, but six interceptions, that's at a whole new level. It's not a good level. It makes it tougher and tougher to come up with ways to try and support him. But you have to as a team because you can't just throw your quarterback aside. You're going to need him later on. But it reminds me of a time that a former defense coordinator of mine told me he was in a game where his quarterback threw seven interceptions. So after the 6-1, one, one of the defensive players went to the quarterback and said, here's what you do. Throw the ball to the other team, and let's see if our receivers can pick it off and turn it into, into a completion. That's just mean. I don't know that I'd go down there and say that to him right now. Probably pretty fragile. <laughs> and he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Prescott on first down. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Third quarter, wild card round. Thanks for being along for the playoff ride with us. Here's second and ten. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packers are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And the good news for them, they got the football. The bad news, they have to go 99 yards here as they start this drive out on their own one-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. In his own end zone, it's Rodgers. And he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one going to fall incomplete. 
just what they need, a lecture from me, but some far offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. To throw from his end zone, Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know what he thinks going on out there, CD. That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what. Oh, that is going to be a safety. The goal here is about getting any kind of positive yardage in this spot because you don't care who, you don't care how. You just want to try and buy a little space and get away from your own end zone. But in this spot, the defense was all over that play and equally motivated to stick them with a safety. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And the last time out, they had the good drive going. You get in the red zone. They throw the interception. Not their first pick of the game either. So we'll see if they're more careful, more cautious here on this drive. Yeah, nothing worse than repeat mistakes, right? You end up coughing the ball up. You end up throwing a pick. Everything goes awry. And now, points don't go up on the board. I just heard a fan scream out. I thought the idea was to score points. Yeah, they're getting a little restless, too. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And guys, man, complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Well, Nick, this is a team, Charles. They faced adversity all year long. They had a fighting claw to win that division. But they're putting it all together here in the wild card game. Feels like a statement, doesn't it? An absolute statement game. A message to the top seeds. Oh, look, it's a draw. They're pretty darn good. Point after. Right down the middle. And that will make this a 19-point game. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And now here's another interception. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and ten on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Left side to Lamb. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. From the red zone now, Prescott. 
And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one, and oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On third down, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they are most likely staring at a cold end of their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far. And they are, to be frank, in desperation mode now as they begin with a first and ten. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. So a nice throw right there. And this, we all know, a big test for this young man at quarterback. He guided his team into the playoffs as a wild card. Now here he is on the road looking to get his guys to the second round. It's certainly a tough task no matter how you slice it. Oh, I absolutely agree with him. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to get it back here just past the 35. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. 41 yards on the ground for him so far. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 31. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. He had his eyes on the end zone once he hit the secondary, but they're finally able to slow him down. Yeah, and I've got to look at this one from the defensive point of view. You just mentioned finally able to slow him down. They've got to figure out a way to make that at the point of attack, at the line of scrimmage, because once he gets through, he's shredding them. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. They'll try again with Elliott. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's throwing in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw it here. Yeah. Oh, Prescott stripped, and the Packers pick it up. A big seam, and he might go all the way. The 30, 10, 5, and he will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. So hold the phone here, Charles. I've kind of written them off, but after that touchdown, it's certainly a long way still to go, but stranger things have happened. Well, when you're going to have big second-half comebacks, plays like that have to be involved.
So the Packer offense coming on. They'll be asked to go for two. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. They said beginning of the season they wanted to get past the wild card round. Well, they just got past the wild card round. How about that? Being able to put the big check marks up in the locker room, right? Yeah, you know. Get to the wild card game. Check. Got that done. Win a wild card game. Big check. Now you've got to go ahead and set your sights high. There's a bigger prize out there, and they still have an opportunity. Cause I need your eyes on me. 